Hey everyone, this is Liam, and this week we are going to be talking about therapy. Helpful? Yes? No? And I'll give you some of my personal experience with it too. The only formal therapy that I have done um, personally is in university. I uh, There was a free counseling program. So if you're in school, um, you can always access a free counseling program and uh, you can get set up with someone to get some free sessions um, and then after a while you do have to pay for them but it is always an option for people that are already paying tuition because your tuition dollars go towards that so you should access those services. So I went to a counselor through university and talked about a lot of things and I found that that was very helpful. I was going through a lot of periods of anxiety, losing a lot of sleep, um, really stressed out and overwhelmed. And so I found that uh, they hooked me up with someone who could talk about certain things with me and um, I was comfortable with and it really helped me out through that period of time and that was uh, pre-transition and the second time I got therapy was actually because I needed to get a hormone readiness assessment or a, um, a reference letter I guess you could say from a therapist to give to an, um, an endocrinologist to prescribe me hormones. So I uh, went to see Rupert Raj. Uh, he's a pretty well-known person within the trans community in Toronto. Um, and he was super, super helpful. And actually, I just ran into him at uh, VegFest this past weekend in Toronto. And he said hi to me, and it was really nice for him to to stop to, to look for me and say hi. Uh, he was very helpful. He asked me a lot of questions uh, regarding transitioning and it phased through different categories um, in different uh, ways of your life and how you see your future and how your transition, how you came to that point and your family situation and your social networks and your uh, mental health and he really helped me to access services, access social groups that I could look uh, into joining and hooked me up with a lot of uh, databases and uh, lists of, of tons of information like for endocrinologists, for surgeons, for different things, for therapists, for um, attorneys I believe and uh, a whole bunch of different things so you can check out his web page I can post the link below and uh, he was really really helpful to me because it, I was at a point in my life I was just pretty trying to get on testosterone because at that point I was sure that that's what I want to do and that would make me feel more of myself that I feel on the inside and and bring the outside to the same, to one being. Anyway, um, so he helped me put a lot of things in for, into perspective because a lot of the times you have things stuck in your head and you don't necessarily say them out loud. So to you, it's... When you think of a lot of things and a lot of things are overwhelming your mind, it's very hard to come to simple conclusions about things and a lot of times we give ourselves a lot of anxiety and additional stress that could be eliminated by thinking about things a different way. So for me, by saying these things and by thinking things through and kind of going through the motions of being sure of my path forward as well as being able to be supported going onward and being able to access the right resources. It really helped me a lot, I found, and I would highly recommend it in general. I highly recommend Rupert Raj, and um, I would recommend accessing any service that you can, you can, because there's so many out there. There's so many available to trans youth, to 
trans people in general. And it's just there to be accessed. So really just simply go on Google and look up groups and you'll be able to hook up with with people that are similar to your situations or professionals that will help you through certain situations because sometimes people don't have someone to talk to if they're going through certain issues and going through transition and not really understanding what it all is it's good to be able to talk to someone about it to be able to relate to someone or to be able to talk to someone to help you out and to um, link you up with where you can find people like you or to get yourself better health-wise, physically, mentally, spiritually. I, uh, I fully believe in it. So yes to therapy. Um, I don't think you should be ashamed by wanting to access therapy because I feel like a lot of people are offended when you say, oh, I think, uh, I think you should go to therapy, which I, I could understand that sometimes people say that in more of a hurtful way. I don't ever say that. But um, therapy is a good experience. It's a positive place, and you don't have to feel ashamed about it. If anything, it's you actually investing in yourself and realizing that before you go forward within your life you really have to come to terms with what's going on in your head and being able to sort everything out and being able to plan your pathway so if that's what you need if, if you don't need to access those kind of resources if you're totally cool and you totally have a your own support network and have people to talk to and have good role models in your life then then people don't need it but you know if you're out there and you're troubled and you're really on the brink and you don't know what to do then really look into it because I find it helpful I found it helpful and I would always recommend it so yeah that is about it that was a mouthful anyway I will talk to you guys next week have a good one Bye.